Good day, my name is Ekaterina and today I would like to tell you a little bit about security in the Internet of Things. You will hear about IoT concept, about what is the difference between privacy and security, what IoT attack is, and finally we will consider the simplest three-layered IoT model and example of attackers, attacks related to each layer. Internet of Things is a system of interrelated things that has unique identifiers and communicate with each other. Things could be whatever, regardless of size or material, everything that has access to the internet and connectivity solution. This concept offers a lot of opportunities, but at the same time, there are a lot of questions without clear answer in the field regarding positioning, reliability, energy efficiency, latency, large data management, and security and privacy that usually refers to last but not least. But before we begin to go into the deeps, where is the difference between security and privacy? Sometimes these two terms are mentioned as synonymous, but they are not. Privacy is protection of personal information from unwanted attention, while security is more general concept that includes privacy and means the data protection by ensuring its confidentiality, integrity and availability, or CIA triad. Imagine that you have a doorway in your house. If you want nobody from the street to see you, then you can hang a curtain in front of the door, which will provide a privacy function. But if in addition you want to protect your home, for example from robbers, you need a door that will ensure security. Let's focus on the security in the IoT. And first of all, define what IoT attack is. IoT attack is an unlawful action that harms the IoT system by exploiting its vulnerabilities in order to use it for personal purposes. It is best to remember that the more things, the more connectivity and software solutions, the more types of attacks. Currently, there are a huge number of ways to hack the IoT system, but if we will take a look at the most frequent breach, there are six of them – malware, man in the middle, brute force, physical tampering and hacked encryption. In addition, we can classify edX depending on the simple three-layered IoT model, consisting of hardware layer, protocol layer and software layer. Let's take a look at hardware-related edX. The most widespread in this group is physical tampering, that means the replacement of the IoT object with malicious one. Secondly, Trojan, converting an integrated circuit to access information and firmware. Termin, interference with radio frequencies that not used in the network for communication. And finally, physical damage, direct physical harm caused to equipment. If we will take a look at the examples of mitigation solutions, we will not notice we will notice that there is no solutions used for all. Let's keep it in mind and move on towards protocol layer and protocol related attacks. The thing that is worth to remember is here that uh, the more different connectivity solutions, the more attacks. Let's consider several of the most popular protocols for different ranges RFID, Bluetooth, and Wi Fi. You can see that all of them have a unique set of attacks, and in the case of Bluetooth, the attacks are even marked as a special prefix. The last layer in the IoT model is software layer, which according to statistics is connected with the most widespread attacks. First of all, it is malware, the changing of firmware using code for later changing the system behavior. Secondly, hijacking. There are two types of hijacking. In the man in the middle type of hijacking attack, the attacker takes control of an established connection while it's in, it is in progress. In other type browser hijacking, attackers redirects the user to a different site than he requested. Next, brute force, sorting through possible password combination to get access to someone else's confidential data. And final, denial of service, making IoT data unavailable for authorized users. Here the same as before, if we will take a look on the examples of mitigation solutions, we will not find any general one. So, finally, we can say that First of all, IoT concept faces many challenges, one of which is security. Security and privacy are not the same things. Each level of the IoT model has its own set of possible attacks. There are a large number of types of attacks and they do not have a common structure. Respectively, there is no general solution how to protect the IoT system. But forewarned is forearmed. Here you can see the links. Thank you and stay secure.